houses. How hectic has this energy been since um, that solar eclipse? Uh, I'm still suffering from a like a oh too much air in the in the universe um, <laughs> day yesterday. So if you've got an energetic hangover today, just know that that's because the energy is very intense. And in September, there's always going to be a fairly large amount of this air energy. And the the positive thing about that is that it enables us to get in touch with who we are, uh, be confident in who we are, value ourselves. Um, tap into that creativity and initiate a new thing, new things for ourselves. That could be a new business, it could be a new relationship, it could be a new way of viewing the world, it could be a new way of viewing yourself. It could be a self-care program, which I highly recommend. Um, anything new that we, we that we that we like to initiate is is potentially really able to to be birthed in September. The downside of it is that it creates um, impatience overthinking, not feeling enough, um, sometimes only one-sided view, not seeing the downsides, you know, rushing in where angels fear to tread. So that's what we need to guard against for the whole month of September. Today is governed by the energy of the six, and sixes are about beauty, peace, charisma, family, loyalty, um, harmony. Uh, so all in all, a, a much less frenetic energy than yesterday, um, the subconscious stressor, however, is that we might end up becoming too perfectionistic. We may want things to be too perfect. In order to keep the peace and keep harmony, we might put up and shut up. We might put other people's values above our own and then potentially become resentful. And then those ones become really impatient and say, yes, well, what about me? So today is very much a contrast between this is what I need, this is what I want, this is who I am, and this is what I deserve in order to be the best version of myself and um, this drive towards peace and harmony. And so you may find that uh, in order to keep the peace, as I said, you compromise who you are. And that tension is going to be probably one of the biggest stresses of today. The sabotage of today is um, not being truthful. It's about not being in integrity, not being integrity with yourself primarily. So you may find yourself rationalizing and saying, oh, well, it's okay if I um, do what someone else wants me to do, even though I don't want to do it. It's okay if I don't say no, and I put myself out, and I stretch myself too far, because that makes me a good person. It means I'm being really kind. Well, actually, it may make you a good person. It may make you feel like you're a good person, but in the end, you're going to end up being ratty and irritable. So you might be really kind to the person that you're doing the favor for, and then you might come home and scream at your kids. Okay? So... Stay in integrity with yourself today. It's really very, very important. The finger of the day is the middle finger. This is our anger and resentment finger. Remember, safety energy lock number six, which is the number that governs today, is on the middle finger. And the middle finger also harmonizes the liver and gallbladder organ energy. It helps with detoxification. It helps with disappointed disappointment. It helps with suppressed anger. It helps to keep ourselves true to our own values and it helps to lower some of that frenetic energy so a couple of deep breaths on the middle finger would be really useful today the hero of today in terms of the life map is um, the number that governs it's the hermit so if you can please make some space in the day to um, just allow yourself to connect with yourself so you might be very busy you might have a really busy day today i have one of those um, it doesn't mean that you can't do that. It just means that you want to create these sort of little energetic, I want to call them smoke breaks. Do not smoke the cigarette, ideally, during that time. But create that idea of needing a smoke break. So take yourself outside for five minutes. Walk up the flight of stairs. Uh, lie on your couch. Uh, just sit back in your chair. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Listen to some beautiful music. Um, watch an inspiring video clip. Anything like that. That will just help to bring you back to yourself today. Um, tomorrow is more of a day of introversion and introspection. So enjoy the balance and the harmony today and enjoy this idea of being able to get things done in the form in which you want to. I'll see you guys tomorrow.